Father God, I thank you so much for the blessing of this day. Lord, thank you that the rains came and that they left. Lord, thank you for the precious love that you give to us as human beings and for the celebration of getting to share that love together. God, I'd ask that you would bless this time, that your Holy Spirit would be over it, that you would do things that are beyond our ability to imagine and demonstrate that you are here in this place. Brett, in Jeremiah, the Bible says, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for a disaster, to give you a future and a hope. That verse was one I clung to as I leaned into him over the years, trusting that he had a plan for my kids and me. Even though I didn't know where he was leading, I knew that he was the only one I wanted to follow. 14 months ago, I stepped into a zone of uncomfortable for me because of his nudging. I am forever thankful for that because it brought me to you. Your love for him and your desire to walk in obedience was evident to me from the very beginning. I knew we had something different and he had big plans for us. I knew he had been in all the details and had gone before, knowing that one day he would bring us together. Dear Annie, words cannot begin to express how much of a blessing and heavenly gift you are to me. Although I prayed for years for God to bring the right woman into my life, a woman that loves him like I do, and a woman that shares my deepest desire to point as many people as I can to him in the time I have left on earth. I had no idea that his plans included bringing the most amazing woman I've ever met into my life. What he has provided me and you is far beyond anything I could have ever imagined or asked for. The Lord by far exceeded my prayers when he brought you into my life. With you, I can be vulnerable and completely myself, all while feeling cherished, valued, and loved. You are my best friend, the one I want to laugh with all the days of my life, and the one I know will always be there for me as a support, even when nobody else is. You are my best friend, the one I want to call first with good or bad news, the one I've learned I can work through any problem that comes our way with, the one I can trust, the one I can rely on, the one I want to protect, the one I want to honor, love, and respect every day for the rest of my life. I spent most of my life thinking love was out of reach, but I now know my heart can rest. I will search no more, because I have found the one he's always had in mind for me. He has created you and designed you for such great things, and I look forward to being your main encouragement as you discover all that you are made for. I know that he has great plans for us as we become one today and walk hand in hand into our future together. I love you, Annie. Loving always, Brett. Ethan, Jonah, Liam, Hunter, and Sophie. I want you to know that I dearly love your mom. You have so graciously shared this wonderful woman with me. So will I share the love I feel for her with you. I will not attempt to replace anyone but to make a place in your hearts that is for me alone. I will be father and friend, and I will cherish my life with all of you. I may not have been there for your first steps, but I promise to be there for each of you from this day forward until my final breath. Casey and Chandler, I prayed for a man like your dad, and God blessed me with more than I could ever ask for with him. His love and devotion to both of you was on full display from the moment I met him. Today, I'm not just marrying your dad, but also we are bringing our families together as one. Thank you for blessing me by allowing me into your life. Brett, I promise to love you sacrificially as God calls me to, putting your desires and happiness above my own. I promise to be your biggest supporter and encourager as I stand by your side. I will listen to your passions and dreams and will pour into you as you continually realize his purpose for you. I promise to love, serve, and honor you, to protect you, and to provide for you. I promise to give all I have to love you as Christ loved his church and gave himself for her. I promise to carry you as the treasure given to me by God, that if anything is said of me when I die, it will be that he loved his wife. I promise to always respect you and value your lead as the head of our family, to meet you with grace, understanding, and patience, as our Father does with me. Through the mountaintop experiences and the lowest of valleys, I promise to always hold your hand and praise Him with you. I promise you I will never look for another to be what God intended you to be in my life. 
I will walk hand in hand with you as we love on and guide our children, display the love of Christ to the world, and point everyone we know to Him. No matter the weight of the world, I will lead our family toward Christ and the goal to honor and to know Him. Based on the vows given and received, the tokens that have been also exchanged, the privilege that I have as a pastor of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Sir, you may kiss your bride. It's like finding a treasure that's always been hiding. The first time that I see inside it and realize it's always been you. We're grateful that Annie and Brett family and friends are here to celebrate their marriage. We're blessed to have the joining of two families. We have thankfulness for the Lord's love and grace that guided Annie and her kids through four and a half years. We're joyful that the Lord in His timing and love brought them together. We're so happy and thankful for Brett's love for and devotion to Annie and the kids as a new and blessed family. We instantly knew like he was just perfect for our family. I mean, he'll put himself last, you first. I admire that most about him. It's like I could text him and I could be in Florida and he could be in Kentucky and I could be like, I need you right now. He'd find a way to help me out. He's a really good man and I'm very glad he's in our family. When Brett first told me about Annie, he was like, you will not believe this. I'm like, okay, well, she's probably a pretty nice gal. And, um, but when I got to know more about Annie, it's like, wow, he's for once, Brett is not like overstating the case. He's really saying the truth here. And so I was amazed myself. So, and I'm expecting to see even things that I can't imagine in the future, the things that he's gonna do. God has been with us at every single turn in our relationship. And today was a perfect example of what we see on a regular basis. Today, we had prayed, and there were many people that had said, have you checked the weather? And I said, I can't control the weather, but I know who can. And I opened my weather app, I looked at the radar, and I hit play as the time progressed towards this ceremony. The clouds just, they disappeared. And that is what he does. That's what God does. We both have walked through different paths to get to each other. Had we not walked the path that we had to walk to get to each other, our hearts wouldn't have been ready for each other. I'm excited to see what plans He has for us as a family. Hey.